I hope that you are having a wonderful, beautiful Sunday. If you're having a bad day, throw it in the fire, let it burn and have a better day now. And you know what? That leads me to my next statement is that Sasha is not here right now because she's mad at me. And my punishment, whenever she's mad at me, she goes on a spending spree. And then she's like, ha, got him real good, huh? Let me know if you guys do that to your spouse because that's not cool. Uh, I'm mad at you, I'm gonna go on a spending spree. And what she's mad at me for is me waking up too early. So, I don't know, I guess me getting up at 4 to 5 a.m. is too early for her and she didn't like that so she goes on a spending spree. I understand it because our time is limited right now and we have a baby on the way and then we're definitely not gonna be getting sleep but I can't help it if I'm awake at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever. What am I supposed to do? Pretend I'm sleeping for another hour or two? So that's that, but anyway, that is the reason for my little speech about having a good day if you are mad today. So if you're mad, cheer up, be positive. And hey guys, so I clearly was not in the video earlier from today. And yes, Max is right, I was out shopping. Um, I got a cute little side table. Here, I'll show you this side table from Target. And uh, my mom's birthday is coming up and my brother's birthday is coming up, both December 6th. So I'm out of breath now. So that was the whole point of the shopping spree because I know that if Max came with, he would be complaining the entire time. Okay, so that's point number one. Point number two, the reason I was mad at him, I didn't have a chance to defend myself in the video, so I'm defending myself now. Um, he woke up at 4.52 the other day and the thing is, like, he doesn't get up right away. He lays on his phone, so I, like, toss and turn, and I see a light, like, right next to me. And I thought, this was what I thought. Clearly, it's not, it's not working out at all. I thought that the last couple of months, I would be able to sleep as much as I possibly could before the baby came. Because then, I know once baby's here, I'm probably not going to be sleeping a whole lot. Like, totally, I'm aware of that. So I thought I'd be like catching up on all of my sleep now is the absolute opposite. Like if it's not the baby, then it's Max. So that's why I was mad and that's pretty much it. And also let's go read a really cute little children's book. <laughs> if you haven't already, please click subscribe and thumbs this video up. We really, really appreciate that. All right, so I got my blankie. We got this thing, bassinet, whatever they called. Also shout out to Delta Children because this thing is freaking amazing. Go check it out and it's on our Instagram page if you wanna learn more. And so we're super excited for this bassinet. But we're going to read the book and that is on the bookshelf somewhere. I think it's this one right back here. So we're gonna read that in just a moment. Also, it's kind of NSFW, not safe for work, not safe for kids. So get them out of here. All right, let's get to reading the book. I am so freaking excited. It's such a funny book and I actually haven't read the whole thing yet because I want to be able to read it for the first time with you guys. So I'm really excited to just read it and see <laughs> how silly it is. All right, we got to get all snuggled in here. And in today's book, we're going to be reading is Brenda's Beaver Needs a Barber. And shout out to the author and the publisher for giving us permission to read this on the channel. I'm so excited because it's a cute little book. <laughs> All right, Brenda's beaver needs a barber. All right, page one. Brenda has a beaver and she's ready to confess. As soft and sweet as it may be, her beaver is a mess. <laughs> Brenda's beaver is big. Brenda's beaver's hairy. Every guy who's seen it says that Brenda's beaver's scary. <laughs> Look at that beaver, poor beaver. She doesn't have any friends. <laughs> Brenda took her beaver for a swim at the lake. By the looks that she received, she figured that it was a mistake. She stuffed that furry mound into a swimming suit. It stuck out all around. It was anything but cute. Brenda, you gotta keep that beaver trimmed. Poor guy, look at how much hair he's got. Trim that beaver. Some who saw it laughed. Others were just stunned. Brenda's beaver was hanging out, soaking up the sun. Getting that tan on, Brenda. <laughs> her friends could not believe her. They said we need to talk. 
They covered up her beaver and they took her for a walk. Brenda, dear, listen here. We want to help you out. Your beaver needs a makeover. It really needs it now. And Brenda's friends, as you can see, all have trimmed beavers. I hope we don't seem pushy, said her biker friend named Kim. Your beaver is too pushy. We just think it needs a trim. <laughs> this book is amazing. Savannah pulled her beaver back to show off what she'd done. Hers has a nice long landing patch. It looks like it'd be fun. I'd say so. <laughs> Chrissy's beaver is quite rare. It could be worth a million. Hers is bare. It has no hair. Her beaver is Brazilian. <laughs> Man. Whew. Catherine let her beaver loose. <laughs> she said there's nothing to it. Grab some clippers and a can of moose. We'll show you how to do it. <laughs> Gotta let that beaver loose every once in a while. Am I right? Can produce some scissors. And Chrissy had some wax. Now all that Brenda had to do was sit back and relax. There you go, Brenda, your beaver's finally getting a trim. As they come towards her beaver, they said, now don't be scared. We're going to see what's underneath that frumpy pile of hair. Ooh. It ended in just minutes. They didn't leave her much. When Brenda's friends were finished, she and her beaver blushed. Her beaver was so tiny, they could not believe their eyes. It was smooth and it was shiny. It was hard to recognize. <laughs> okay. Now Brenda is so proud. It seems like every time we see her, she's in the center of a crowd, just showing off her beaver. Wow. The end. If you're interested in purchasing this book, there's a link in the description below to Amazon and also a link to the publisher. They have a whole set of books. If you'd like to buy them, please check them out. And I'm just giving them a huge shout out because this book is awesome and hilarious and it's gonna be a good talking piece. In other news, names that we like but we're not using, I think we're gonna try and film that one if Sasha tears up a little bit really soon. So hopefully tomorrow or the next day and then we'll get that one out. So I think that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and for joining us. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. So stay positive, stay cheerful, and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.